Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. 20 travel faces you should know. Could I get a map? Could I get a map? So you can always find a travel information center near most attractions and get a map or just download it online. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? It's like you know how to speak. Ying man is English. Ma is the question particle. So you can substitute any other languages in this question. For example, Do you speak French? Fatman is French. Do you speak Japanese? Do you speak Mandarin? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Bus is bus. It sounds very similar. It's actually a loan word. So bus, 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 bus. Geichang is airport. Siku is city. It's like city center or downtown. So there are a lot of airport bus that brings you to different parts of the city. It's very convenient. Wi-Fi hai mai min fai? Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi hai mai min fai? Is the Wi-Fi free? Min fai is free. So most places have free Wi-Fi, like cafes or restaurants. They, they would provide free Wi-Fi all around Hong Kong. Gaman ya mo fang? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Gaman ya mo fang? Is there any vacancy tonight? This is a question you ask at the hotel or hostel. So, gaman is tonight. It could be gaman or gaman is the same. Yao mo is like, is there any? Fang is room. So, is there any room available for tonight? Or do you have any vacancies for tonight? Could I move to a different room? Could I move to a different room? Can I? Jun Fang Jun is like to change, to turn. Fang is room, so can I change to another room? I have a reservation for a room. I have a reservation. So this is a sentence you use at the hotel or hostel. Fang is room, so Dang Fang is to make a reservation for a room. Dan Fang is the past tense. So Ngo Dan Fang is like I have made the reservation for a room. Before you go to the hotel, you book a room, and then when you arrive, you just tell them and then they will ask you for your last name, and they will find your booking. Could we have the menu, please? Could we have the menu, please? is please, or excuse me. May we, or can we, or can I, may I? So menu is the same as in English. We just say menu in Hong Kong. That's the most common. So Guy Yoga Menu, this is the question you use in a restaurant. Do you have any recommendations? Do you have any recommendation? So when I travel to a new city, trying new restaurant, I will always ask, what's your recommendation? Check please. Check please. Guy is please or excuse me. So in this case it's please. I want to check, please. So, um, check, please. Mgai my dan. My dan is to wrap up the bill, to settle the bill. So, my dan, check, please. That's the sentence you will hear a lot or you will use at the restaurant. I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to peanuts. Mgai yudisui. Water, please. Mgai yudisui. Water, please. Mgai again is like please or excuse me. You so is like I want some water. So water please. Ni ga qin. How much is this? Ni ga qin. How much is this? Ni ga is this. Qin is how much. So how much is this? Ni ga qin. This is a question you will use at shop or store whenever you go shopping. You can ask ni ga qin. In Hong Kong, most of the shop already have the price tag listed, so you might not have to ask that question that much. 
I like ten of these. 我要十个呢个。I want ten of this. 我要十个呢个。我要 is like I want. 十个 is ten. 呢个 is this. So I want ten of these. 我买呢个。I like this. 我买呢个。I like this. I'll buy this literally. So 我买 is I buy. 呢个 is this. So I buy this. So I like this. That's what you say to the clerk when you are at a shop and you already chose something, and you can tell him or her like, "I want this one, not your nigga." Can I give you a discount? Could you give me a discount? Can I give you a discount? Could you give me a discount? So this is how you ask for a discount. For example, if you're buying ten coin purse at the same time, you can ask for a discount. I want ten of this. 可唔可以俾個折頭我啊？收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 信用卡 is credit card， so 收 is to receive， to accept， so 收唔收 is do you accept？ And then 信用卡 credit card， do you accept credit card？ Do you take credit card？ It's quite common for shops in Hong Kong to take credit card unless it's like very small scale， uh family run shop。But yeah, most shops take credit card. 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站 in this case can apply to subway station or bus station. If you want to specify, say subway station, you can ask. 地铁车站喺边地铁 is subway in Hong Kong. So 地铁车站喺边 Where is the subway station? Or where is the bus station? Would be 巴士站喺边 So bus stop is bus stop. So stop is station or stop. So, 车站喺边 is mostly understood as、um, where is the train station. 请问几钱 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问几钱 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问 is like may I ask or excuse me? Ah,、uh, 几钱 is like how much? So in this case, 请问几钱 or just 几钱 We use it at a train station or a bus or minivan or taxi. It's like asking about the fare, the fee you have to pay to take this transportation. So, 请问几钱 How much is it like for the fare? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔該 ，is like please excuse me。可唔可以 ？is like could you like can you please can you 幫我 is for me 影張相 is to take a picture。so 唔該，你可唔可以幫我影張相 ？could you take a photo for me please？ could you take a picture for me please？ Ten questions you should know。Let's start。你好嗎 ？How are you？ 你好嗎 ？We use it just like how are you？ Uh, especially when we're catching up with our friends, so it's more like、um, casual greetings. Nagil Man Man, what's your name? Nagil Man Man, Man is name. So Nagil Man Man, what's your name? Not Hi Olivia. Nika Hi Man, what is it? Nika Hi Man, say you don't know what it is or what it's called in Cantonese. You say Nika Hi Man, what what is it? 你幾時生日 ？When is your birthday？ 你幾時生日 ？My birthday is in January. Tell us your birthday in the comment section, please. 你住喺邊 ？Where do you live？ 你住喺邊？住 is the verb to live. So 我住喺香港。I live in Hong Kong. 我住喺日本。I live in Japan. And so on. Where do you live？ Tell us. 你幾多歲 ？How old are you？ 你幾多歲？歲 is like years old. But it's not very common to ask people. They are especially female. Maybe for kids and elderly seniors, you can ask them. How old are you? 你有冇去过香港 Have you ever been to Hong Kong? Hong Kong is Hong Kong, so you can substitute it with other country names. 你有冇去过日本 Have you ever been to Japan? 你有冇去过泰国 Have you ever been to Thailand? And this is Thailand, by the way. 厕所喺边 Where is the washroom? Very important question you need to know. 你幾多號電話 What's your phone number? 
你記得好電話，電話係 telephone， but in this case it means、uh, everybody understand that it means phone number。If you need to contact someone， ask for the phone number。你喺邊度學廣東話 ？Where did you learn Cantonese？ 你喺邊度學廣東話 ？Of course， now you have to tell people you're learning from Cantonese class 101.com。Ten phrases you always want to hear. 你今日好精神 You look great today. 今日 is today. 精神 is kind of like lively, but in general great, like good. So 你今日好精神 If you see someone that has a glow in their face, you can tell them 你今日睇到好精神喎你今日好精神我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你 I bought you something special. It's always nice to receive gifts and special gifts, I guess, for everyone. 我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你。I bought, I brought you something special. Maybe for anniversary? Well, no, not anniversary. It's not. It's it's the best if it's not anniversary or birthday or anything. Just a surprise gift, not surprise. It's even normal gift. I brought you something special. It's a very nice gesture that you can do for anyone. 你講得啱 ，You were right. 你講得啱 ，You were right. Literally, you spoke correctly. So, 你講得啱 ，You were right. Whatever you said was right. That's usually what a guy have to say to stop arguing with the girlfriend. So, 你贏啦 ，You win. 贏 is win. So, you win. That is always something you wanna hear. You won the lottery. They won the lottery. The lottery is lottery in Hong Kong. It's the name of the lottery in Hong Kong. They won the lottery. The lottery is lottery. What are you going to buy if you won the lottery? Tell us in the comment section, please. Yes, I have. Today will be clean. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's very nice. If your roommate or your spouse or your family do that, that's awesome. Can you clean my place for me? 你係一個非常出色嘅廚師。You're an excellent cook. 你係一個非常出色嘅廚師。Or you can just say， 你煮嘅嘢好好食啊。What you cook is delicious. 廚師 is cook. 今個月底會有獎金。There will be a bonus at the end of the month. 今個月底 is this is the end of this month. 獎金 is bonus. So who doesn't want a bonus, right? 你做得好好啊。You did a great job. You 做得好好啊 I always give compliment on whatever people do for you. Doesn't cost anything to say a compliment. I always show gratitude. 我掛住你 I miss you. 我好掛住你 I miss you very much. Literally, it is by 掛 is the verb to hang. So it's kind of like I hang you up. Maybe you hang someone in the in your heart. You can think of it that way. So I miss you. You soon have more hand. The budget is unlimited. You soon is budget and unlimited is more hand. Spend all you want, but do it correctly. Do it rightly. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Top ten phrases to amaze native speakers. I have been learning Cantonese for ten years. I have been learning Cantonese for ten years. Wow, ten years—that's a lot. I mean, ten years ago, not a lot of people knows about Cantonese. Usually, they just thought it was just Chinese. And how long have you been learning Cantonese? Let us know in the comments. The Guangdonghua are 全部自学噶 I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. The Guangdonghua 我全部自学噶 I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. That's brilliant. I mean. You need a lot of self-discipline to learn a language. I've been trying. <laughs> I guess it's more common nowadays with the internet and the apps and everything. By the way, download our apps. 除咗廣東話，我仲識其他幾個語言。Apart from knowing Cantonese, I can speak a few other languages as well. So that makes you what? Bilingual, trilingual, quadlingual? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's. Really cool. They heard. They said that the more languages you speak, the more open you are to new ideas. How many languages can you speak? So, if you want to tell people which languages you know, you can say, "Um, 除咗廣東話，我仲識日文同德文 
Other than Cantonese, I can also speak Japanese and German. I can watch Cantonese movies without subtitles. That's great. That's one of my goals when I'm learning a language, to not have to read the subtitles when I watch a movie. Can you do that now? I can memorize around 50 new Cantonese words a day. Can you really remember that much in a day? Maybe it's just me. I think I can only remember 10 or 20 max. Tell us how many words you can remember every day. Cantonese is fun and easy to learn. Yes, it is. It sounds like the song and it has a lot of tone, so it's fun to learn. And there are a lot of slang. Once you know the language, it's very interesting to find out the background of the slangs or idioms, so work hard. I'll speak Cantonese like a native speaker in three years. Three years seems a bit short to master a language and make it fluent like your mother tongue, but you can do it. It usually takes a year and a half for someone to really capture the essence of the language, especially if you're living in a city that speaks that language. That really helps. I completely understand everything you said. I completely understand everything you said. Depending on the person speaking, sometimes even when people are speaking in Cantonese or in English, I can still get confused because the way they speak or the speed they speak. But yeah, I would aim to completely understand the other person when they're speaking in a language that I'm learning. So that is really good progress. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. Thank you, but I'm actually not a native speaker. Wow, if people said that to you, that means your Cantonese is really good and you have no accent at all. So that's like the ultimate goal for learning a language. Mouyu is mother tongue, so it's like, thank you, but this is not my mother tongue. But I speak it like it's my mother tongue. I rock. It took me only one year to become fluent. I mean, one year, yes, you can do that if you study like every day and practice every day. I know someone who get really fluent in spoken Cantonese. Just uh, practice a lot, say it out loud, and don't be afraid. Top 10 phrases you need for a date. 想面同我食餐飯嗎? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? The first phrase is 想面同我食餐飯嗎? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? 想面同我食餐飯嗎? So 想面 literally means um, to do the honor of or to give me your free time. So it's a bit fancy, but if someone asks me, 想面同我食餐飯嗎? I'll be like, ooh, so fancy, okay. <laughs> it's a little formal, but it's always good to be formal when you're asking someone out on a date. You don't want it to be too casual. 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲? Are you free this weekend? 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲? Are you free this weekend? 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲? So 你, you, 今个礼拜尾, this weekend, 得唔得闲? Are you free or not? So are you free this weekend? And uh, you can also say weekend as in the English in the sentence. So you can say, 你今个weekend得唔得闲? Are you free this weekend? So if you say yes, I'm free, you can say 得闲. If you are not free or you don't want to go out with that person, you can say 唔得闲. So 得闲 and 唔得闲. 我们一起去玩好吗? Would you like to hang out with me? 我们一起去玩好吗? Would you like to hang out with me? 一起去玩, it uh, literally means to go out and play together. Because in Cantonese there is no translation for 
hang out. So we usually just say like to go out together. So yatai hui wan, no day to uh, you and me, no day us, we, no day we, yatai hui wan, go play together. Hou ma, how about that? So would you like to go hang out with me? Or you can say, no day yatai hui tai hei hou ma, would you like to go watch a movie with me? Ne hou da yi, you are very cute. Ne hou da yi, you are very cute. That e means a cute. We usually use it for uh, kids or little girls or like young girls, teenagers as well. So uh, you're cute. Now that e, would I say it to a guy? I don't think so. I think some guy might feel offended if someone tell them they are like cute. Like in English, you can say that oh that guy is cute, but uh, in Cantonese, if you say that e, it usually means some. Thing that is like small and cute, like um, tiny cute thing. So I don't think guys want that kind of compliment, <laughs> or it's not a compliment to them to be small and tiny. Ne hou lang, you are pretty. So uh, the next phrase is ne hou lang, you are pretty. Ne hou lang, so lang is pretty or beautiful. You can um, yeah, I guess paying a compliment. Would be a nice thing before you ask anyone out for a date. So if、uh, it was a me asking a guy, you can say "ne hou lang zai." You are handsome. "Ne hou lang zai." You are handsome. You are good looking. So "lang" is for female, and "lang zai" is for male. 今晚好开心 That was a great evening. 今晚好开心 That was a great evening. 今晚好开心今晚 is、uh, this. Evening and how high some is very happy. So literally, this evening was happy. So we use this after the date, right? You had a great time, and you are thinking if you're gonna see each other again. Then first you say, "Come on, how high some? Like I had a great time with you. It was a great evening." 我打俾你 ，I'll call you. 我打俾你 ，I'll call you. You can use this for anyone. It doesn't have to be someone you want to go on a date with. It can be a family or a stranger. Well, not stranger. You're not gonna call a stranger. Business related people, anyone, friends. You can say I'll call you. I'll call you. The longer phrase is I'll call you on the phone. I'll call you on the phone. Since it's well understood that you're gonna use the phone, so you can just say I'll call you. I'll call you. 我车你翻屋企 ，I will drive you home。我车你翻屋企 ，I'll drive you home。我车你 ，literally I drive you or I car you。So 车 is the noun for car or the verb to、uh, drive or to give someone a ride。So I give you I give you a ride home。翻屋企，屋企 is home and 翻屋企 is like to return home。So 我车你翻屋企 ，I drive you home。It's more like a driver, or、oh, I can just get an Uber. <laughs> Next, 我哋听日几点见 ？What time shall we meet tomorrow? 我哋听日几点见 ？What time shall we meet tomorrow? 我哋会听日 tomorrow 几点 ？What time? 见 to meet to see each other. So if you want to confirm、uh, the meeting time with the other person. You can ask. 我哋听日几点见 ？What time are we meeting tomorrow? 我可唔可以再约你 ？Can I see you again? 我可唔可以再约你 ？Can I see you again? So 再约你，约 literally means to date you. So to ask you out for a date. So can I ask you out for a date again? So can I see you again? Yeah. So if you have a good, nice evening or a very Enjoyable date, and you want to see that person again. You can ask. Can I see you again? Can I see you again? Can we go out again? Can we have a date again? Can I see you again? Can I see you again? Can we go out again? Can we have a date again? Can we have a second date? If you want to learn a language but don't have a lot of time to dedicate to the endeavor, you need to study as efficiently as possible. You probably aren't a language learning expert or a world traveler. You might have school or a job or two. So in this video, we'll give you three ways to help you learn language more efficiently, so that you get the most out of your time and effort. Number one, 
use your time when you have it. The most valuable resource you have as a language learner is time. While you may not have to spend money to learn a language, you will have to spend time. Hours and minutes are a currency that you trade on a weekly basis to grow in your language learning. Language learning is probably a priority for you. It might not be the number one priority, like keeping your job or taking care of your family, but it does have to be important enough for you to invest significant amounts of time into your learning. There's just no way around it. That being said, use your time wisely. Because of previous commitments, you can quickly fall into the trap of putting your language learning off, thinking, oh, I'll do it next week, or Saturday, I'll do it Saturday. Needless to say, a few weeks can go by and you haven't really learned or practiced anything. If you find that happening, then take some time and reevaluate your approach. It's probably a long shot for you to be able to spend hours every day learning a new foreign language, but you can use your time to spend an hour or even just 10 minutes a day, every day, studying or practicing. If you're on a busy schedule, an hour a day can sound like reaching for the stars, so start slowly with just a five minute lesson. Over time, as you learn more and it becomes more routine, you'll want to spend more time studying. And your studying doesn't even need to be all at once. Make use of the little gaps of time you have in the day. Listen to a podcast while driving to and from work. Review new words while on lunch break or right before bed. Even a quick review while in line at the store or waiting for the bus. Together, these moments add up. This way, your little study session will add up to around 60 minutes of practice every day. You'll quickly be able to see significant improvement in your language abilities. Number two, don't method jump. When you're new to language learning, there's a temptation to try out the newest course, app, or method. There are more language learning tools and courses than I can list. But jumping around from podcast to podcast or from textbook to textbook can really hinder your learning process. It's important to find the best method for you, but when you do, stick with it. Don't get distracted by the newest app, or if you suddenly find something faster, cheaper, claiming it can teach you a language with no work on your part. Stick with your learning course or tool. Consistent practice over a period of time is what is essential for language learning. If you hit a bump or plateau, you might be tempted to think, maybe there's a faster or better way to learn. So you search around and buy the next best language learning tool, only to use it for a couple weeks and realize it wasn't really any better than the last course you tried, and the same difficulties you had are still there. If you're learning your first new language and you pick a specific method or course, we suggest you stick with it for at least three to four months. You actually hurt yourself in the long run if you constantly switch between resources because you never give yourself the opportunity to progress. Number three, focus on one thing at a time. When you decide to learn a new language, you're gonna be really excited. You have all your resources lined up, a plan in place, and you're ready to go. You think you'll spend three to four hours a day practicing and that you'll be fluent in no time, but that's only for about three days then you probably will get a little bit discouraged and avoid it for another three days. And this process might repeat three or four times before you realize that you might be approaching things the wrong way. You can't devour a whole new language in a very short time. You'll burn out immediately. It's better to focus on one small part of the language at a time, either a specific grammar point or a specific vocabulary topic. In the beginning, these should be based on the parts of the language you'll use right away. Even in the business world, research shows that replacing less important tasks with ones that add value and help you reach your goals is the best way to get the most out of your time. As you advance through the language and your level increases, try to pinpoint the harder aspects of the language and work on them one at a time. Learning a foreign language isn't easy. It takes time and work, but it is possible. If you stick to your learning plans and stay focused, you will see improvement in your skills and find satisfaction in using the language. Remember that learning a language is really more like a journey. It doesn't have to feel like school or work. Savor your experience with learning and enjoy every step along the way. And for even more tips on learning efficiently, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.